Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to the stream. Today I'm doing a, pretty much an extended Let's Play episode. And the idea is that I'm going to try and get Platinum God today. Um, you know, I'm going to stream for two and a half, three hours maybe. And all I have left to do, right now at least, is get to uh, Spelunker Boy and collect two items. Guppy's Hairball and Speedball, which is just, it's miraculous that neither of those have appeared yet. Well, not so much Guppy's Hairball as Speedball. Because, you know, Speedball's a default item, shows up in challenge rooms and such occasionally. Uh, am I live yet? I think yeah, such we... occasionally. Oh god. Alright, so we are good and set now. I'm going to move the stream window so that I can see the chat. And I'm just going to start a run with Kane, I suppose. Seems good to me. And, uh, you know, it's going to be good times. This will, of course, go on to YouTube later. Wow, first pickup is the shears. The shears are really good. Cuts our head off, allows our body to uh, home in on enemies, essentially. Doing lots of damage. And it charges in six rooms, so that's one negative. But other than that, it's a very, very good item. Uh, it's not too bad to have as a first pickup at least when you have no other items. With Isaac, I would have re-rolled it, unfortunately, but since we're Kane, I think this is going to work out fine. No health laying around, so I can't really justify playing the Demon Beggar, but uh, now we're going to go fight the boss. And I've, I've probably dropped the Shears for the um, Candle, and probably the D6 anyway. I mean, they're good, but I've kind of outgrown them almost. It's weird. Because I used to be a very big proponent of them, like drop them for a lot of things, but now, not so much. Anyway, health up is a great first pickup. And, uh, let's see, what I was going to say something. There was something in my head. Let's see what's in the challenge room. Yeah, I will definitely take speed and damage up. Uh, note that the D6 is going to be better for finding those items that I'm missing, but I haven't... Uh, I'll play Isaac next, probably. And really no promises about being able to not take damage, because that, that's hard for, like, even, like, I got Dark Boy before I got Spelunker Boy, which is really weird, but, well, yeah, we'll see what's doable. So there are a few of you here now. Uh, feel free to say hi, I will be reading the chat. Oh god, stay away from me, Mulligan. And then that's a Mulligoon, he'll spawn a bomb. We found our second item room. By the way, we did pick up Pinky Eye. God, we're way too fast. Uh, Pinky Eye, hello, will give us poison shots, poison tears on 10%. Well, there's a 10% chance of getting a poison shot. So uh, that's not to say that every one in every 10 will be poison, but it's a good chance. So, uh, we're off to a pretty good start. Good timing. Uh, yes, I'm glad you needed a distraction. I am the perfect thing. And, uh, sorry if, uh, you're watching this as video on demand on YouTube later. And you haven't, uh, you don't see the chat here. But I will be responding to the chat as we go. Anyway, we're way too fast. I need to speed down in some manner. Small rock would be maybe the best. Lard would also be pretty good. And may as well, well, no, we want to get one more room under our belt. Pride, probably the easiest mini-boss, honestly. Poison shots do pretty good work for us. And we get a tarot card, as usual, teleport to the shop from the Hermit. Don't really need it. Let's see who our boss is. Duke of Flies will get destroyed by the Shears. And that was really, really easy. We didn't take damage on the basement but is that really surprising? So let's see if we can build an advantage that'll allow us to not take damage on the uh, caves. Now, the nail is all right, but I think I'll stick with the shears. That's fine with me. I don't really want to give up my health for either of those, but we would have just gotten Basement Boy had we not already had it. But Basement Boy is easy to get, so it's all good. I'm way too fast. I really need, like, tinted rocks with the small rock. I need that to happen right now. Because I feel like in the caves we start seeing spikes, and those are going to be... I'm going to be my own worst enemy with regards to spikes because I'll be fast and it'll be hard to dodge them. But 
uh, you know, I'm going to be pro and not take damage anyway, maybe. That would be pretty cool if I got it first run, first try. But I, I really do doubt that. Like, kind of, kind of a lot. Anyway, we're finished with Basement 2 now. May as well look for the secret room since there's one place that it's very likely to be. And uh, if it's not there, I won't really care about any of the places that it might be. What is with that? That happens a lot. But, too late. Don't care. Done dealing with it. Let's go on to the caves and see if we can do this. Catacombs, not a good start. And spiders. Spiders are my least favorite thing to do. Like, I don't expect to make it, but it's always worth a shot. If we get Book of Shadows, I think it's totally worth dropping um, the shears for it. But, in fact, we do not. We get Book of Sin, giving us a bomb, and Book of Belial, which would double our damage. Ooh, that's an interesting question. I think that I can handle having Book of Belial. That also increases our chances of getting a deal with the devil, but I'm, I'm probably not going to take advantage of those on uh, these floors, because I think that deals with the devil might actually... We can fling our tears, which is interesting, like increased range by using our speed. Anyway, I, I don't know off the top of my head if taking a deal with the devil counts as getting hit, so I'm just not going to take that chance. There's a list that I, I've even posted on the subreddit a couple times saying what does and doesn't lose you the achievement, but I'm uh, just because I can copy and paste it doesn't mean I have it memorized. Okay. That was a little scary. I really don't have a reason to use the Hermit right now. I don't like this one bit. I really don't like this room. This is a just not good room. I don't want to be near you. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, there it goes. Stupid rooms like this where you can't avoid damage, like, no matter how hard you try. So, uh, that's, that's that for this try, but I'm not gonna just, like, end the run. Though I might do re some restarts occasionally. Not this time. There's really no reason to. Just, rooms are stupid when you can't avoid damage. Like, literally. And, uh, well, one of the pitfalls of the game. Don't want the spider butt, so I'll just get it out of the item pool and not pick it up again. And, I mean, had I known that this would take me to a useless item room, I wouldn't have gone this way and I might still have not taken damage. But, there was no way to know that. That it would be useless, mostly. Unless I had assumed, but I didn't have an Emperor card or anything to just go right to the boss. It's whatever. I got a few hours to try this. And I'm still way too fast. Gurgles... Kind of annoying, but I'll probably be fine, if we're being real. Okay. Well, I mean, I've already taken damage, but I may as well not take more damage, you know? Alright, the Fallen will give us a deal with the Devil item. And that could be great, or it could be pretty mediocre, which seems to normally be the case. But using the Book of Belial, we will handle him relatively quickly. Took some silly damage because I'm way too fast. But we'll we'll live. Most likely. Take more damage. I should have taken damage there as well. But I'm a wizard, basically. So how's everyone doing in the chat? Not saying too much yet. Then again, it's early, haven't been here yet for long. Sister Maggie is a familiar that'll shoot along with us. It might do more damage than Brother Bobby, but, uh, you know, that's that's all speculation for a lot of people. Good that you're doing pretty good. Glad to hear. And uh, Caves 2. Greed can start appearing in the shop here. There's a 50% chance that Greed will be in this shop. And that uh, is the only place that Greed can be on this floor. He can't be in the secret room yet. Not until next floor. And... Eh, you know, coin flips. Uh, hosts. I kind of want to restart, but I also don't, because this is a pretty decent run, though I am way too fast. I still don't want to squander it. Having the double damage from Book of Belial is always welcome. Except when... Well, no, it's always welcome. It's just... It's not always the best thing to have. You know what I'm saying... 
Uh, I will totally take the flat penny. That's uh, every time we pick up a coin, there's a 50% chance that a key will drop next to it. And uh, I win that a lot. Some coin flips are more generous than others. Soul hearts are always nice to have. Okay. We cannot take damage here. It's possible, and it happened. So now we have enough money to go to the shop, so it is worth it to find out if we're going to have to deal with greed. And unfortunately here we're fighting Chad. Chad will give us little Chad, which will drop a half red heart after every two rooms. And by the way, only red heart damage counts towards uh, losing your chances it deals with the devil, so the damage we've taken here so far isn't harming our chances, but any more damage would. We'd lose about, I think it's 25%. That or 35, I'm, I just don't remember. An Eternal Heart, that's pretty awesome. That'll give us a health up should we get it to the next uh, floor. Martin Freeman, I don't even... You're going to have to remind me who that is because, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know everything all the time. Just sometimes. And Globins, we're strong enough. Good. Hobbit, okay. Um, no, I haven't seen it yet, but I don't know which one he is still. Ha! Oh well. But I know what you're saying. Okay, the guy in Sherlock. That's what I thought it was, but, um, wasn't totally sure. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty cool. I actually, I mean, I recently finished watching Sherlock up to where it is right now. And, you know, I'm ready for the next season. Not that I... I don't remember when it's going to be, but still, going to be fun. I do have BBC America, so I, I will be able to watch it. Doctor Who comes back in eight days from when I'm doing this stream. That's also exciting. I'm ready for that as well. Yeah, I, I mean... Sherlock was good, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't like the best thing I've ever seen. I don't know. I'm excited for it, but at the same time, it's not as as fun for me as Doctor Who, or the fact that they announced, like, Dexter is coming back way early. And, yeah, it is in eight days for Doctor Who. Uh, Dexter's coming back early, or, um, geez, Breaking Bad is also kind of, kind of soon. You know, we'll, we'll see. Anyway, I need to go to the shop before, uh, dealing with other stuff. Bomb bag, that'll give us a bomb after every three rooms. I have, uh, always considered starting to watch Sons of Anarchy, because, um, Netflix keeps saying, hey, you might like this, and I'm like, eh, well, so I haven't done it, but, uh, whatever, and Game of Thrones, I've never really tried, I don't know, everyone says it's so good, but it just doesn't, it, I don't know, it hasn't caught my eye or anything for any reason, so a bunch of keys for that, that's excellent, um, yeah, so I can now use the Judgment card and play this beggar, get an item or something, that'll be good. Uh, two of clubs doubles our bombs. I'm just going to use that right away. Even though every time the uh, bomb bag gives us another bomb, it'll be like getting two more bombs. But it's too late. I've already done it. It has happened. What is this? Two of diamonds doubles our money. Use that right away so I can play more of the beggar and still have enough money to go to the shop. Greed won't be in the shop or secret room next floor. Ooh, nine volt. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, yes. Greed won't be in the shop or item room next floor. Oh, I totally had the Hermit card. Oh well, it doesn't really matter about my key usage. Because he was in the shop this floor, he won't be on in the shop next floor, or the item room next floor. Or not the item room, secret room. That's why I went to the secret room, by the way, because lots of keys. He could be in the shop, greed, that is, or the secret room, if we get an XL floor. Because that counts as the second floor, and it'd be like we skipped a floor of not having greed. Okay, careful here. We, do, we also have the Celtic Cross, which is nice. A nice uh, extra thing to have. And that's every time we get hit, there's a 30% chance that we get invincibility for 7 seconds. Not bad. So we didn't get an XL floor. That's always exciting uh, when you're trying to avoid greed. So let's just use the Hermit right away. And pick up the compass absolutely for sure. And may as well pick up the Soul Heart since we've got bunches of extra money. And I feel pretty good. Compass, of course, shows us the general location of all the icon rooms without showing us how to get there. That was some silly damage to take, but it's okay, I already have Dark Boy. Of course, this isn't really um, a particularly overpowered run that would be like, oh yeah, no problem, Dark Boy. 
Pills are all good or neutral with Kane because of the lucky foot, and health up is a pretty good pickup, that's for sure. Okay, calm down. Yes, okay. So, now that these brains are done being annoying because there's only one of them, no, I say as I take damage. Well, that's what I get for getting complacent or something. Let's see what's in this item room once we can kill all of these knights, which I'm not really counting on too much because, God, they're so annoying. No, don't do... You guys are such jerks, and I hate you. Alright, just don't turn, and you're gonna... No! Now you're dead. Almost walked into one, which would have been pretty embarrassing. Wow, magic mushroom, that's all stats up. That's really good! Though, now I kind of desperately need that speed down I was after earlier. And of course I can't get it from a pill as Kane. Because all of the pills must be good or neutral. And speed down is certainly not good or neutral in the eyes of the game. Unfortunately, speed down might be the best thing to get right now. So what I need is, uh, let's see, what gives me speed down? Small rock. Uh, something else. Something else significant gives me lar odd mushroom, the large one. Uh, but we are doing a lot of damage because Kane has a high damage multiplier, 1.2, meaning that for every one damage you gain, you gain 1.2 instead. Which is kind of a loose translation of the code. Yeah, Lard would give us a speed down, which would be nice. I'm going to go into this curse room because we're in a pretty good health situation and get more damage. See, what did I tell you guys? So, um, Blood of the Martyr gives us two damage, but it also nerfs Book of Belial, unfortunately. Because um, normally Book of Belial doubles our damage, but now it only multiplies our damage by 1.5. Uh, still, having better base damage, always welcome. Look how big our tears are, goodness. But still, some serious luck going on right now. By the way, the uh, shop on the next floor, Deaths 2, or Acropolis 2, is uh, literally guaranteed to have greed unless greed is in the shop where there's a mini boss room. Uh, greed has, or secret room. If greed is in the secret room, it won't be in the shop, but the secret room only has a one third chance of having greed. And then uh, after that, Mini bosses can only spawn if you have full health, but I do have full health, fortunately. Cat of Nine Tails increases our knockback and shot speed. Uh, we've already been in the Angel Room, got that extra damage. It's crazy luck right now, and I'm just going to go to the next floor. Let's head to this item room. I picked right, correct, the first time. And this room is going to be pretty easy with my crazy damage. Like, this is, this is quite a run. If I had had this much damage in the caves and didn't have the terrible luck of that one room that I literally couldn't have avoided damage on. Might have gotten Splunker Boy right then and there. But not that lucky. I am streaming with all of those numbers. You have a lot of numbers in your names. Uh, and yes, it, it, um, it's, not, it's, not, it's not two snaps, but you're entitled to your thoughts. I'm not going to take chocolate milk, because I'm not. But yeah, it's it's biznap, not by snap. I promise. Just trust me on this. It is me. But whatever works out. You still know who I am. Okay, I'm gonna not get hit here. Fortunately, uh, there is no mini boss room, so it's pretty. And there's no mini boss in any secret rooms just laying around, which means that uh, greed is in the shop. We don't even need to go. Chocolate milk does taste good. I probably would know you by another name if you told me that other name, but ah uh, yes, chocolate milk does taste good, but it is not a particularly good power up. It is worth having with mom's knife and mom's knife only, and I don't even know how big of an advantage it is with mom's knife. I don't know if it has that much effect at all. Uh, nope, no other things have been said in chat. We are gonna just fight mom right away because I'm lazy about backtracking this time, even though I'm super fast. Oh, I think I just skipped a key. Whatever, I have 11. Yeah, it doesn't work like that with Brimstone. It's, it's terrible with Brimstone now. It used to be amazing, and I actually never had chocolate milk and Brimstone when that was still like the best combination ever, but can't be lucky all the time. And that's when I played the game way more than I do now. Like, weird. 
I got so much more lucky when I started doing videos, but not going to complain about it. Oh, unfortunately took damage there, but from Squeezy, we get tears up and two soul hearts, and we're going to take the Polaroid now instead of the flat penny. The shop would have had greed in it, I can actually tell you that with certainty. So it's okay that I skipped it. So we are on the way. Uh, boss looks like it'll be this way, but it's probably up. Still, may as well check because if it's the simple one, well, I'm happy that way. And when I say that I can tell you with certainty that greed was in the shop, I mean literal certainty. Jeez, I do a lot of damage. I can't deal with you until the other one pops up. There we go. Uh, now I can do this. Don't need these red hearts, but it's always nice to have the option, I suppose. It looks like we did guess right. Yeah, now we had to have guessed right. So we'll see what's in this. Uh... Alright, key. I am happy to receive keys. Come on, pop up. Well, now I can't hit you. Funny guy. All right, brains, leave me alone for a second. So let's see who this boss is. Don't forget to uh, look at Belial. Skull Eggs is going to be pretty easy. By the way, never look up any of the bosses, pretty much, in this game. They're all gross. Wow, one hit did that much damage. All right. We even have a good damage output against that, and the tail has a lot more defense when it's just popping up alone. So, uh, you know... Anyway, everything does a full heart of damage down here. Yeah, Teratoma's just... ew. It's just a terrible thing. But, I mean, pretty much everything else as well. Another deal with the devil. This could be, uh, make a break. Well, the items aren't as bad for the most case. I mean, there are a couple of them. Oh, unfortunately, we don't have three soul hearts. This is the worst day. I want you. I want you, Guppy's Paw. This would make the game a free win right now. Now, I will take Guppy's Tail. And I still can't take this, but uh, I have a bunch of keys, so, and uh, on the chest, Guppy's tail will be a huge boon, giving us more items, essentially. Uh... <laughs> I mean, that's a little different, walking in on two dissected cat parts. It's not the same kind of thing as if you look up a, cat, a cat's tail, you're not going to get something, like, horrible, as opposed to you look up something like... Harlequin baby and you just are scarred for life. It's a it's a difference. Oh, oh god, why didn't I take damage? Oh, and now I have the soul heart. I'm I'm almost resentful of that soul heart. Cause then I would have been able to get Guppy's paw and thus uh what what would I get? Literally twenty one soul hearts. And then I would have also been one item away from being guppy. Hello! Wow, thanks, what? Wait, wait, what's, what's, oh, you shouldn't have looked it up. Don't look anything up in this game. I, I was literally just saying that. You cannot, don't do that. Don't look up, don't look those things up. <laughs> that was a terrible choice. If you had just listened to me, we wouldn't be in this situation. Oh well. This fight, oh, I forgot to use the Book of Belial. Uh, yeah, this fight's gonna be easy. I have such a crazy damage output. Well, <laughs> Ghost Baby. I, I expect you won't find anything terrible for that, but if you do, uh, not my fault. Alright, so we probably... Well, we don't one-shot them. That's actually kind of surprising. But uh, we have a pretty decent setup for the... Uh, uh, you tweeted at me? Well... It's okay. Twitter doesn't like to give me notifications of tweets. I do check them occasionally when, uh... But usually there's nothing. I don't really need to have used that bomb for any reason, but why not? This fight's essentially over. I cl cannot click that link at the moment. And I'll probably forget by the time it's reasonable. But anyway, this deal with the devil isn't a deal with the devil. It's just a pathway to Shoal. Oh, I, I, I guess that's probably just a ghost baby. Now, is this going to be simple? Is the boss actually going to be this way? Oh, man. How did I not take damage? Because I am a wizard. A wizard ninja. Well, there we go. There's the damage. Anyway, Gertie Jr., especially multiple Gertie Juniors, one of the hardest bosses in the game, in my opinion. Even the single one, though. They're, they're just hard. 
Well, then why don't you follow me on Twitter if you would? What do you mean, what is the setup right now? Uh, we have lots of damage, basically. That is basically the setup, if that's what your question is. Oh yeah, may as well use that. Range up? Sure, why not? Um, yeah, I knew we weren't going to be lucky enough to uh, get the boss that way. So I expect it, it actually kind of has to be down. And yeah, I know what you mean about not really using Twitter. Like, I hardly tweet with it, but I'm going to start more since people can follow me and stuff. And I mean, I only had one to see what people that I wanted, that I was interested in said. Oh uh, yeah, I have a bunch of damage ups and uh, Celtic Cross. And uh, a couple speed ups, Magic Mushroom. Well, clearly a bunch of health. I've only taken one deal with the Devilite. Oh god, I don't want that heart. That was scary. So it's a pretty good setup. Like, literally crazy damage. Unfortunately, the uh, Book of Belial is a bit nerfed because I picked up Blood of the Martyr, which lowers the effect of Book of Belial for some reason. But yeah, I expect that I'm going to be able to win. I'm way too fast, though. That's one thing. And I see, being fast got me stuck on the map geometry there. Health up, that's pretty lucky. Uh, Joker, sure. I don't want either of these. Well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> oh well. We will continue. I still don't want that half heart. Gotta get that Polaroid invincibility when possible. This chest yields. Well, another key. And it paid for itself bomb-wise, so no complaints from me. Oh man. Almost took damage there, but I'm way too, way too good. Oh no, you just... Ugh, stop what you're doing! Alright, that that was that was good. And you're gonna die now. No, ooh, getting stuck on the wall. And... Ooh, oh, oh well. Uh, now I can take those two half hearts. It'll become a full heart. You don't have Isaac yet? Is that is that what you're is that what you're telling me? It's weird. Most of the people that watch Isaac are just they they like have it and they just would rather watch someone else play it for whatever reason. But you know I'm fine with that. I get more views because you guys would rather watch me play. Yeah, it is. It's it's on sale right now. You should go pick up the game if uh you have like literally it costs like a dollar twenty four right now. Oh, that's U.S. dollars. Oh no, Gertie Jr. can't do this to me. By the way, the Book of Belial is a two-room recharge because we have the 9-volt, so I should use it a lot more liberally than I am. I'm stuck here. Uh, we're probably not going to win anymore because, I mean, all this health that we've lost, I have no way of replenishing it. Oh my god. And Gertie Jr. is my nightmare. Oh, I didn't want that half-heart. That's the worst. Yeah, I was terrible when I started playing this game. Um, like, literally the worst. Monstro was the hardest boss ever. Like, I don't know how you people beat that thing. That's that's how I felt. Like, how are you supposed to beat Monstro? <laughs> that's... I got this game on release day, though. But still, it's funny to look back. Now I've got almost my second Platinum God, and now I'm gonna die. Like, literally definitely gonna die. Yeah, rooms are harder than bosses a lot of the time. Okay, we should be able to complete this room without getting killed. But, okay, that was close. For once, my speed is a nice thing to have. Get out of my face, Globins. Alright, um, I really, I would say we have seriously no chance here. Uh, and in response to one of the earlier comments one of you made, I am very burned out on playing this game, but I do it because you guys enjoy it. Like, I would probably have quit by now until, um, Rebirth came out, but can't do that now. We've got a couple hundred people to please. All right, we got lucky with, uh, invincibility from that thing we have. That thing we have being the Celtic Cross. Uh, we have a very small chance of success. No! <laughs> Alright, so that was the first run. We're going to go back to the main menu and try Isaac this time. Because I do have to find items as well as getting um, that other thing. 
That other thing. Uh, find items and get Spelunker Boy. That's the one. Yeah, I mean, that was going surprisingly well for the fact that I had only two hearts. But, you know, we definitely would have been able to easily win had it not been for those two Gertie Jr. rooms, probably. And, I mean, I would be waiting on Rebirth, but no one would watch me if I didn't play Isaac. Well, few people would watch me. Okay, stay away from me. Oh, you blew up my poop. I, you know, I don't know about that infinite D20 run. It's just kind of unlikely at this point. D20 rerolls pickups in a room. Uh, okay, we're good. Yeah, it rerolls pickups, including opened chests, unless they contain an item. Uh, ten bombs. Now that's an interesting proposition. Uh, it's not, it, there isn't a release date. It's coming out, like, the end of this year, purportedly. So, it's not for certain. I'm just going to leave and come back for a second. <laughs> and I will take the 10 bombs, because whatever. I could have re-rolled it, and I kind of wanted to, but I may as well take something good that's free and, you know, guaranteed to be that thing. As opposed to, I re-roll it, and maybe I get Mom's Knife, but more likely I just get, like, Telepathy for Dummies or something. <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh, I actually got hit by Pride. This is the most embarrassing day of my Isaac career. See what this is? The Emperor teleports us to the boss room. Hello. I, I did make the stream time EU friendly, if you didn't notice. Uh, so here we are. Let's see. Nope. I've answered everything at the moment. I just want a heart drop right now, so that's why I did an extra room here. Yeah, well, that's better than nothing. I don't know if I've died to pride. I might have when I was, like, first starting, but... I, uh, you shouldn't take damage against pride, in my professional opinion. Because, you know, I'm kind of like an Isaac professional. Kinda. So let's see who this boss is. As I scratch my nose a little bit. Pin? Pin is super duper easy. Yep, you, you just can do that. Do a run in which I only use any spacebar item you get once. Uh, I know someone suggested that, maybe it was you <laughs> on the channel, but I, that seems kind of ridiculous. Because, like, I'll have a spacebar item, I'll use it once, and then who knows when I get another one. Uh, okay, wait. Pride can't spawn in the chest. Like, literally, Pride doesn't spawn in the chest. So I don't know what you're talking about. I got hit by pin, by the way, because I was trying to read the chat, and it's embarrassing as well. This is just a run full of embarrassing damage. I wonder if there's a way... You know, after I kill pin, I'm going to try and reposition the chat a little. I'm going to do a pop-out, most likely, and then put it next to the game, so it's a little more convenient for me to read. Anyway, pin will die now. We'll get back to full health. We'll take squeezy for sure. Tears up and two soul hearts. Yeah, that's pretty much what I mean by professional. Uh, so let's see. Can I do a pop out? Yes. Pop out to the chat. Put it next to the Isaac. And it'll load. I've probably missed a couple of your messages, by the way, because I think someone was typing. And this means I don't need my stream page open. Alright, now the chat is next to the game. Everyone is happy. Uh, sorry, I've probably missed the last two or three messages. Oh, sorry, I didn't get to see the 7 cent item before I left. Oh well. Uh, you might have been right. Wow, this is a champion eye blob. Note, eye blobs are a 1 in 400 replacement for clots and clotties, and the champions are, of course, even more uncommon. This one does a full heart of damage and seems to have double the normal amount of health, uh, so that kind of sucked. Hello. Welcome to the stream. We're attempting to get um, Spelunker Boy and a couple items. It doesn't seem very likely at the moment. But we'll see what this item is, and then I might just restart in all honesty. Because it's, you know, it's not amazing how this is going, but it's also not terrible. This item's pretty much going to determine whether I restart here. Because Isaac, you know, he's got that, that stuff. Friends till the end, kamikaze flies that do double my damage. We'll touch the um heart to get it out of the item pool, and then re-roll it to Mom's Knife, hopefully. Technology 2. Well, 
And this is a terrible, terrible thing to have right now because we have no damage and Technology 2 multiplies our damage by 65%. There will not be live challenge runs, at least not today. So now our kamikaze flies are far less useful and uh, our damage is far less viable. So I don't know. I, I don't know about this. Let's see what this tinted rock gives us. Yeah, I will I will kill the poop very, very quickly. But I need to do damage so that I can avoid taking damage on the next floor. Basically, I'm going to restart after this boss if I don't get, like, the pentagram and or deal with the devil. You're subscribed to me on YouTube. Oh, people, I'm, people you're subscribed to don't usually interact with their fans. Well, I enjoy interacting with my fans a lot. So, uh, you're very welcome. Thank you guys for interacting with me. Back. Yes, yes, less than three to you as well. Alright, let's reroll this, and I'm just gonna restart. I feel like I have less pressure to not restart because I've got so much more time for this. Because, like, I'm doing this for, like, three hours or so, as opposed to just 45 minutes max-ish, usually. Can't play that beggar. You may or may not be winning in terms of Biznap interaction. That depends on who you are on YouTube, because you didn't tell me. You just said I might know you by another name. Alright. I need I need some stuff to go well for me. Kane might be a good choice to just play consistently as opposed to Isaac. Like Isaac's good for getting items, but Kane's pretty great to uh Wait a second. You don't you don't exist anymore. You're not here. You're not real. Don't lie to me. You're not real. Alright, so we don't we don't need the bean. What are you doing here? You haven't answered me in like forever. Well, that's an interesting proposition. So now we have uh, Dr. Fetus, and I guess I may as well open this. Wow, that was kind of useless because we have infinite bombs, but uh, yeah, that was pretty lucky. I don't think I've got no damage, but I think I could easily win the run, so I will complete the run. Really, this isn't the secret room? Are you going to be? Oh, fine. But I will find all the secret and top secret rooms available. I really don't expect to take no damage here, though, so like, don't don't convince yourself that I'm going to. Anyway, shooting poop and fire is now useless because um, exploding them doesn't do anything. It just you can't get drops from them. Anyway, we are now more likely to get Mr. Mega and Bobby Bomb, as those have both been added to the item room pool six times by my picking up Dr. Fetus. Uh, I don't know how much damage kamikaze flies do. Like, I don't know if they depend on our bomb damage or if they just depend on what our damage would be otherwise. Anyway, we got a health up here. By the way, that's first item room, Dr. Fetus. Just want to point that out. So, uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, Danum, what are you doing here? How, <laughs> why haven't you been suggesting challenge runs? I can't believe we're still we're not taking damage right now. That was amazing. Kamikaze flies save the day. I do want that key. Are you sure about them depending on my damage otherwise? Because I mean, it makes sense, but I just don't, I don't know. You can't think of any good ones, so you don't even comment and tell me you're alive? That doesn't make much sense. Oh, I guess I should go fight the boss to maximize my rerolls. Oh, you think you're burned out on Isaac. Funny kid. Funny guy. I suppose you're not a kid. There we go. Uh, I'm going to reroll this for lunch. Uh, box. Do you guys want me to take box? I'm going to go get a reroll anyway, just in case, because I want to find the item room. If you guys think I should take box, I will take it. By the way, box does not affect my speed. Not oh, well, I'm going to take damage from you. That was silly damage, but whatever. Let's see what this pill does. Uh, I I do not play Zelda. Don't want don't want this at all. I mean, come on, just watch Dark Souls or Super House of Dead Ninjas. I'm playing three games right now. Everyone wants to watch Dark Souls. Let's be real. Uh, okay, so we're fighting Super Envy, which is like literally the worst thing with this setup. But I think oh god, 
I will attempt to survive. Anyway, we also could get a uh, long distance attack fly, which has surprisingly less damage than I thought it did. Okay, okay. This is showing my spatial processing ability, or lack thereof, occasionally. Almost had that one. The D6, yeah, yeah, the D6 and the candle are arguable. There's certain situations where I would much rather have the candle, and certain situations where I'd much rather have the D6. I've known about Starbound for a little while. I actually replied to your comment on that. Um, I've known about Starbound for a long while, and I mean, like I said in the comment that I replied to you with, um, I don't know how I feel about it, so I'm gonna reserve like making any pre-release judgments. Ah uh, well, yeah, I did reply. Sorry it didn't show up. Not that that's my fault. Uh, I'm going to not make any pre-release judgments on it. By the way, poison bombs I shouldn't have taken because it actually doesn't affect Dr. Fetus. Like, you'll see that it has a poison cloud, but every explosion has that, and none of them benefit from it except placed bombs. Dr. Fetus bombs are not placed bombs, so they do not have poison. So that was kind of a total waste for me to take. And I should have rerolled again in hopes of Mr. Mega or Bobby Bomb. But I would not have had another reroll. See, everyone hates on YouTube, and I really just, I like it. I like the changes most of the time. Like, the only thing that's bad about the new layout is that there's frickin' infinity white space on big monitors like mine. And then, like, the new channel, it's fine. Wow, literally, I don't need these bombs that the burnt penny would give me. Friends till the end, yet again. Alright, let's see what the Joker can handle for me. Alright, the relic. I am so lucky right now. So anyway, we're about to go on to the caves. We're gonna see how this goes, essentially. Um, yeah, and, you know, we can hopefully make this happen. I didn't take the burnt penny because I really don't need bombs. I have infinity of them. I didn't even look for the secret rooms and stuff. How silly of me. Oh well, <laughs> it doesn't matter that much. I cannot get that key, unfortunately. Ah, Flat Penny. Much better than Burn Penny. Yeah, I mean, there are a bunch of bugs, but, you know, that's what they're working on. That is why they're coders that work for Google and YouTube. And since we're on catacombs as opposed to caves, we're going to have a little bit of trouble. Um, you know what? Secret rooms can't hurt. Alright, so for once, I don't want the small rock, which is really unfortunate. So, uh, let's re-roll it. Peeper, that is not going to hurt me at all. Curse rooms, I agree, they're so underrated. Anyway, let's fight this boss. The husk should ideally be easy. Note how it poison damage doesn't exist. And we'll take this health up, and uh, we are going to the next floor just because I haven't taken damage yet. Now this room could potentially end that immediately, but nope, it's all good right now. Yes, I know I skipped an item room, which could have given me a nice upgrade, but um, for the moment, it's the right choice. Until I take damage, it's the right choice. Uh, are we? Okay, um, I'm not going to take this pill until the next floor, or until I take damage. Oh, no! I hate keepers. Keepers, you jerks. Ah, oh, well, now I can take this pill. Speed down. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, now we can go find the uh, item room this time. We've got a cube of meat here. Rotate around us. Block enemy tears. Damage enemies that it comes in contact with. Uh, you know, good times. Might have saved us had we had it before that uh, keeper room. But, you know, there are, there are always more runs. Yeah, I know, seriously, we would have been able to have to win that one. Get Spelunker Boy. Get close to Platinum God. I do need to go into the challenge room. Why am I not going into the challenge room? Huh, <sighs> that's the only... Well, no. People say that... Alright, we reroll it to the compass. I have to take the compass. I can't say no to the compass. As much as I want to have, um... Speedball? Can't say no to the compass. You just can't. You're wrong. That thing shot out of its butt, that's not allowed. Stop doing that. It happens all the freaking time, and it's just wrong. In more than one way. Yeah, you pop up right when I want you to. See, I own this game. 
Well, watch my Dark Souls playthrough. Because mine's obviously better. Anyway, we have unlimited keys, so we may as well open anything that uh, comes across with a lock. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Man, we were totally going to win that. It was a good reroll. Compass is a great item. Always a welcome addition. Uh, greed can be in the shop. Is not. Habit would not be bad to have. Why did I shoot the fire? Because I like to contradict myself. It still was useless, though. There we go. Bobby Bomb. Not going to reroll that. Bobby Bomb, of course. Uh, let's see. All pedestal items are good in... Eh, I, don't, I don't know. I, w I definitely didn't want... Uh, teleport. Anyway, uh, oh god. Oh, I still got hit. Oh, we found the secret room. Anyway, with uh, Bobby Bomb, our bombs home in on enemies and, you know, stacks with that stuff I have. Wow, none of those gave me keys. That's ridiculous. Uh, I still don't have enough money to go to the shop. Uh, I will go play this beggar because I don't have enough money to go to the shop and I don't care. Uh, I will try not to forget the secret rooms. Why is this your username anyway? Uh, let's, let's just do this with the bomb. It's the easiest way. I mean, I'm not going to uh, the arcade, most likely. Alright, so there's the attack fly. I'm going to reroll it. Eh, I shouldn't have rerolled it. Doesn't look like I'll have enough rooms to uh, get rid of it. But I really don't need it all that much since I have the uh, homing bombs now. Oh no. Another key. We'll see if I get another reroll here, but uh, yeah, I won't. Well, sucks to be me. I do not want the counterfeit penny, but I want that bo that key. It's not a bomb. Uh, random throwaway. Ah, okay. <laughs> if you, I don't think you know what you mean when you say you got known by that name. It's just kind of... Uh, actually, I guess the numbers are relatively easy to remember. I mean, I see what you're saying about going to the arcade. Fine, I'll do what you tell me to. You don't have to make that face at me, man. But the thing is, I'm not going to be able to get um, another reroll built up. Unless. <coughs> Excuse me. Unless I'm like crazy lucky. There are like no hearts laying around. Alright, so here's how we're doing things. We're going to go get the habit. And then we're going to boost some rerolls, get everything done right. Counterfeit penny is a 50% chance whenever you pick up a coin that uh, it gives you another cent for it. Uh, you, I mean, your name's fine if people know you buy it. Anyway, we have enough to get the habit. Not enough to get anything else. Uh, I can now go get another reroll. And I don't really know... I don't think there's health laying around besides in the boss room. I, anyone remember how much health was in the boss room? Because uh, I don't. When do I ever? Uh, okay, so now we'll go tap that once get some money. May as well hold on to the counterfeit penny as long as we're in the uh, market for getting some money. Best friend. Really? Is this what you're doing to me? Alright, let's do it at least two more times. Get another reroll. Um, I mean, see, I don't have infinite health though, so I can't really just like get tons of rerolls non-stop. And of course I have to play these all singular. So, uh... Well, uh, I'm probably... I'm just... wait. Yeah, infestation's fine. So, uh, I don't need to take any more damage, and we can go get more health back in the boss room and go to the next floor, where hopefully we'll pick up uh, Mr. Mega, because that does add, like, 50 damage to our bombs, which is pretty serious. And, uh, I don't know, things are going pretty as well. I do want to go to the curse room, but it's also practically useless at this point. I mean, I could get flight, but that'd be nice. Ah, uh, well, I could have blown up the machines, but... Ah... Uh, too late. Too... just too late. Don't care anymore. Oh, wow, there's a heart and a half in here. Well, that is excellent. Well, sorry. Yeah, I... I mean... I just... Uh, there are a lot of things I don't approve of about Unholy Edition as far as I know about it. I'm gonna take a drink real quick. Sorry.
Anyway, apparently one big thing about the uh, Unholy Edition is that you don't get um, the Polaroid guaranteed after the mom fight. That's stupid. Like, actually stupid. You shouldn't have... It's, uh, it's the physical copy of the game that you can order directly from their website. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the Polaroid should, under no circumstances, not be a guaranteed drop. Because, I mean, on, it's, it also showed up in the Humble Bundle, I suppose, 1.5 at least, which is the version of the game that the Unholy Edition has. But the Unholy Edition also is boxed and comes with art and stuff. But uh, version 1.5 is the uh, problem ch child of the, uh, of the uh, whole situation. Alright, so we're going to not find the secret room there, but we will play this beggar, of course. Anyway, not having a guaranteed drop of the Polaroid is actually just stupid. It, you shouldn't have a limiting factor that you can't control. Eh, yeah, I want this health up. We'll go back to the item room after this boss fight, because, again, maximizing rerolls a little better. Uh, we have space here. See, I... I uh... I think that the Polaroid dropping after Mom being a consistent way to get it is a fine way. And yeah, Northern Lion did complain about that. Uh, see, I don't, I, I don't think that your performance should be guaranteed because you can get really lucky later too. So unless it's like beating Isaac gives it to you, I don't know. I just think it's kind of silly. Anyway, I'm sorry I'm not moving much. I'm just reading the chat a little. Anyway, I'm gonna. Can I fight Shoal this run? I, I mean, I guess. <laughs> but this is kind of a guaranteed um, chest win because, like, the thing is about this that I want, I want to do the chest because this boosts my win ratio on this file. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, I like cancer. It's good. The things you say playing Binding of Isaac. Yeah, it is pretty terrible to say. Uh, so we haven't found the secret room. That's fine. Got to go all the way back through my life now. Thanks, bros. We don't have the lucky foot or anything. I'll blow this up. Um, I'll just pick up the... Okay. Uh, take a random item from you. That's That's... I couldn't get behind that. I don't know, I think that the Polaroid mechanic is fine how it is. The only thing that would improve it, in my opinion, is if you just... You had to do it once, but you didn't have to do it again. The Polaroid... Wow, nice invisible enemy. The Polaroid should either be optional, or it shouldn't be required. Like, rather, it should be optional, or you should be able to get it consistently. It would be nice if it were, like, a passive thing that you could just, like have, but also have another trinket, it'd be like, you know, I don't know. Wow, all these health ups, this is actually becoming ridiculous at this point. There's no arcade this time, because I guess I didn't have five cents when I walked in the floor. Oh no. Oh, uh, well, it doesn't matter yet that I got that, but after next floor it will kind of matter. I have enough keys that I may as well go for, I don't need ten bombs. I also don't need that. Taking the tick can, and the, the funny thing is, the tick's a really good trinket. Like, really, really good. I wish I could take it more often. Uh, anyway, we're going to get another... Re no, but see, it's a speed down, and I can't afford to have any less speed than I already have. I've also gotten a lot of speed, or a lot of health this run. I don't need the health up, and, you know, since the damage up is useless, I'm going to get another reroll. I'll be just fine. Uh, yeah, I may as well do the curse, the challenge room because it's right here. You know, I expected another health up in there almost. Emperor card, that'll be nice. Uh, save that for Isaac. Have a good time. Anyway, I kind of have to go to Isaac on this run because I have all these keys and they're gonna be useless in Shoal. I'll do a Shoal run at some point, but not this one. This is my last reroll though. Uh, I do need, I need speed. I, I need a, 
like a single speed up rather than the speed down that I'd get from the uh, odd mushroom. And I just kind of want Mr. Mega because then I have a uh, the complete bomb package. Uh, while I'm over here, gotta look for that secret room. Yeah, I haven't been there yet. Okay. Uh, may as well check here. All right, what are you gonna give me? Ghost baby. Well, whatever. I'm not gonna take full hearts of damage just to get rerolls. Cause they take if if it were for my red hearts, I would do it, but not for my soul hearts. That's just that's just silly. I already checked here. Let's check here. I yeah okay. Well, too late, too late. Don't need to go to the curse room for anything. All right, check over here. Ah uh, man, the freaking secret rooms just don't like me. Uh, fine, fine, man. This is just... Come on, give me a secret room. I have to go here just in case the top secret room is off it, because it should be off of this. What is with the invisible enemies right now? I just... Uh, yeah, I don't think it's lagging for anyone else. I have really good internet. And, uh, yeah, good internet uploading relatively uh, lots of stuff. But if anyone else thinks it's lagging, I can turn up the bitrate. Totally a doable thing. Well, look, it's the Polaroid. I'm gonna not take that now. Oh, I love having really good internet. Like, my internet's crazy. Anyway, I don't need the Polaroid right now. And the secret room seems to not exist. Sucks to be me, I guess. Unless it's just randomly here or something, but nope. Off we go. Uh, all right. This is pretty easy. I mean, if the Polaroid didn't drop, that's fine. I would live. All right, this is going to get us right to the item room and also money. Or keys, that is. This should be a pretty easy fight. Especially if he charges at me, I can just throw a bomb in his mouth. Look at this, it's beautiful. Perfect. All right, let's see what's in here. Uh, we want to touch the Book of Belial, get rid of it. Touch the pad, get rid of it. Well, could boost rerolls using that Eternal Fly, but that just seems like a terrible idea to me because Soul Hearts. Unfortunately, I don't have the 9 volt like I did that other run. Man, I'm still a little bit disappointed about not getting the freaking uh, Spelunker Boy. I was this close, man. Alright, what is this beggar going to give me? Right away, Book of Revelations. Well, that's one soul heart. But I'm not going to keep it because it's pretty unnecessary at this point. Uh, we're going to get a Tinted Rock this room. That's always nice. One soul heart and one key. Well, key never hurts. What is this tarot card? The hanged man? No thanks. Now we have a reroll. What is this one? The fool? No thanks as well. Uh, well, actually, we... Alright, what we're going to do then is we're going to go into the mom fight right away. I kind of expected it to be the red one in all honesty, so uh, pleasantly surprised. Oh, I guessed the wrong way. Oh, killed myself. Jeez, the, that wasn't even like the peeper, was it? The bomb's just like flying everywhere. All right, let's, let's not be stupid this time. Let's just calm down and play this relatively not terribly. You should have stomped on your eye there, you lying game. All right, let's actually deal some damage for once. Hey, we did it. No, oh, that's not gonna work. Anyway, we're going to be able to leave the boss room uh, because we'll have the uh, fool. And then we'll be able to go into a deal with the devil or angel room if there is one. I was out of the way of that. In my mind, at least. Well, that was pretty terrible. Certainly don't need a range up. Um, eh, let's get out and then come back later, see if we're re-rolling or not. Yeah, you know, I, I am not a room. I do not have four eyes and arms that come out of my eyes. 
Was it in Angel Room? Did you like hear that happen? Did I not touch teleport? Did I reroll teleport? I totally did. Didn't touch it. Oh yeah, because then I would have had to fight the uh, room, which is why I didn't touch it. What a terrible... Is it... Alright, guess I'm going to the Angel Room. Well, no, I want to save for a reroll. So, uh, I'm going to get a reroll, and then I'm going to stop in the Angel Room. Uh, there's a mini boss, so... Um, maybe we'll get the treasure map or something else. I don't know what else. Uh, but I am going to go to the shop, even though that might incon... No, it won't inconvenience my rerolling. Uh, her face is on her heart, obviously. I mean, what are you people thinking? Okay, so let's see what's in here. Coin purse. Um, eh, whatever. I'll take it. <laughs> Last shop. You jerk! Tears up, that doesn't really help me. It only minorly affects Dr. Fetus. Speed down, you know, I'm going to pass on that. All the friends till the end, like literally every time. But we'll save it, and now we'll go see if the angel room is still there. Sorry, I tapped the microphone thing. I'm going to stop it moving, so I sorry, I tapped it again. Oh, man. So now let's see if the angel room is still there, and hopefully we won't get Sacred Heart, because that would be literally worthless. Um, watch me, though. I will. It'll happen. Let's take the Emperor card again. Oh, wait. Uh, Danum said he heard it or saw it or something, so I'm just going to say, well, nope, didn't happen. You're a liar. So let us uh, re-roll the item room. Lots of re-rolling to be done this floor, and I'm so slow. It's unfortunate, but it's the life that we have to lead. Sorry, guys. Okay. Yes. Yes, I will take the Celtic Cross. Very good pickup. Just like before, 30% chance whenever we get hit that we get invincibility for 7 seconds. And, uh, it's pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna get hit. But Nun's Habit's a thing, so that's good. Rather, just Habit. Um, I don't need to leave that way. I need to do one more room, unfortunately. I'm not gonna go get hit on purpose. You know what's not underrated? Freaking sacrifice rooms. Those are terrible. Yes, that is true. You can only use one of them if you find two of them. Now, which one do I want to reroll? I kind of want to get Mr. Mega, so I'm going to reroll the Book of Revelations. And that's that's cool. And yeah, if, uh, if you happen to come across two items that are spacebar items that are identical, I don't need you. <sighs> uh, you They share their charge bar, because it's one item essentially, and it just has its attributes assigned to it. So it's charge, yeah. Who's crazy? Am I crazy? Why am I crazy? Why am I crazy? I don't understand. Uh, I kind of want to save this blood bank. Ooh, ooh, play the blood bank. Play the blood bank. <gasps> All right, now it's gone. Stay away. All right, we good. Don't want Cursed Skull under. Yeah, Mr. Mega would be great with freaking Dr. Fetus. Are you, are you thinking? Are you thinking right now? One of the best pickups for me in the game right now. I'm not taking Cursed Skull. Don't even kid yourself right now. Uh, yes, Mr. Mega is absolutely one of the best pickups for me right now. If not the best. Miter would be pretty good. Mr. Mega increases your bomb damage and blast radius pretty significantly. No, I still gotta reroll this, man. Able. Not even taking that when I won't get the reroll. Anyway, I'm going to go fight the mini boss in order to possibly get that drop or, you know, just stuff. No, Mr. Boom is the spacebar item. I don't want Mr. Boom. Oh, Cursed Skull is whenever you get hit down to half of a heart or if you have only soul hearts. Um, you teleport to the last room that you were safe in. Oh, it's Ultra Pride. That's relatively typical. Wow, I killed Skrillex in one hit. I'm not taking the Cursed Skull, especially because I'm taking the Polaroid literally in like two seconds. 
I know, I'm considering, like, it's it's a long walk. I'm considering using the Emperor <laughs> just to get back. Uh, let's, let's play this a couple more times. Okay, never mind. There's the speed up I wanted. Could have used another reroll, though. That would have been mighty nice. And I'm literally not taking Abel because he's going to be a disadvantage pushing my bombs back at me. But then again, he kind of isn't. Oh, fine. I'll do the curse room to get the reroll. Ah, uh, you and your demanding, demanding nature. Haven't found the top secret room, but I also don't care. Oh, well. I got you hooked on Super House of Dead Ninjas. Good. Ah, oh, those were useless. Yeah, Danum, come back to life and uh, actually do a video with me one day. You know, answer me on Skype or whatever. Terraria is so fun. I recently uh, spent some time doing another character on it. That was fun. Shoop de whoop, are you kidding me? Why are these rerolls so bad? Oh well, I'm done. I'm leaving. Too late. You can't, can't do this to me. Terraria is getting an update. It's not a dead game. It's sort of dead, but it's getting an update literally very, very soon. Uh, let's see, what are, what are we talking about? I don't, I played Terraria alone a couple times. Oh, we got another freeze. I'm going to drink some more water. No, 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 it's not just consoles. There's a PC update coming out relatively soon. The creator of the game was just like, Eh, eh, I feel like updating. Uh, now, if this is the secret room... Darn. Uh, but yeah, the console update, or console version does come out this coming week, which is also pretty exciting. I'll probably end up getting that. Oh, you don't die from a bomb? You cheater. Oh, I've, I've beat every boss on my own, of course. I mean, I've literally completed the game fully twice. And I'm very excited for new stuff to do. But I'll do it on the old characters, just because they're already, like, complete. And I don't like the early game. I really don't. Anyway, uh, the Emperor wouldn't be a bad thing to use. Why am I not blowing up all the rocks? Uh, Rebirth is not a specific release date. It's just sometime around the end of the year, ideally. But not for sure. Okay. So, yeah, uh, Skeletron Prime is really hard. Stop doing what you're doing. It's the ghost baby doing those things. Uh, let's see, what are you? Friends till the end. Why is that pill showing up like literally nonstop? What are you? Two of spades, doubles my keys. Well, now I'm set. Uh, we'll go left. Fortunately, with the compass, uh, Curse of Labyrinth is pretty great. It would have been worth it to use the Emperor here, but uh, I'm happy saving it. Oh man, Mugenics. I'm, I'm gonna have so much fun with that game. That's, that game seems ridiculously awesome and ridiculous at the same time. Oh god! Ah, oh, well, couldn't avoid it, but you know, it's kind of nerfed because those enemies still do half a heart, or full heart of damage as opposed to uh, two to hearts of damage or anything. So we'll fight these two bosses. This is our last boss drop. Oh, Skolex. Oh man, the timing is... Oh, we good. That's not going to hit. Oh, it is. Okay. Squeezy is kind of useless, so we're going to reroll it. Four health up. So Squeezy kind of would have been better there, but whatever. Oh, wow. I've taken a lot of damage, but now the fight's pretty much over. Got another tarot card. See what it does, but of course I'm going to keep the Emperor. And then we'll go to the cathedral and probably win very, very easily again. Well, very easily. Like we did here, not like we did last run or anything. Uh, unfortunately, that angel room is worthless. Of course it's another emperor card. Like, I actually saw that coming. Uh, we may as well go to the library. And play this beggar. Because what better things are there to do? The ladder, that's pretty much completely 123% worthless. Uh, Book of Shadows gives us invincibility for 10 seconds on use. Uh, so now we're going to be doing lots of re-rolling. I'm not even going to take the ladder because it won't show up in the chest or anything. But uh, we're going to re-roll the books first because that can turn into a double item room much with uh, without much effort. 
Have we touched the Book of Belial? I think we have. I don't think we've touched a lot of other ones, though. So it could take a while, but then again, every hit is going to be that much closer. So Ladder does take a uh, backseat to those rerolls. But I think we're good. We might end up clearing the whole um, of this floor just for funds. No one said anything in a little while, and it worries me. It makes me feel like either the chat has, like, frozen for me, or uh, actually there's nothing to worry about. But whatever. Infinite item power anarchist cookbook, go away. Uh, okay, we need a couple more. Oh, that's not where I wanted to shoot. Oh, you... Oh, man. Sometimes, you angelic babies. Alright, this room is my nightmare right now. Got a reroll though. I do need a little more speed. Another blood bag wouldn't hurt. It is deadly. I've tried it. Yeah, at least I got a reroll. That's exactly how I feel. All right, what do we got here now? Fortunately, we're getting double books instead, so that's always nice. Better use this once for tears up, which is pretty much worthless. But whatever. <laughs> I have no idea how much health we have. Uh, let's go this way, just for convenience sake, for getting more of them re-rolls. Get out of my face. I just want Mr. Mega right now. You got rage, and it lasted for two minutes. That's impressive. I wish I had that. Pretty fly, why didn't we get that way earlier? That's all I wanted. Um, I need, I still need to get a minute of rage in my playthrough. Also, I was trying to record today for that series, and it was just, it was lagging really badly, so I need to restart my computer before I record that one for Super House of Dead Ninjas, but, uh, you know, whatever. Happens, I suppose. Though if that still doesn't work, I guess it means an extra Dark Souls video, day of videos. That's exciting. Monster Manuel, that should be the last book, I believe. Uh, well, uh, Rage in Super House of Dead Ninjas makes you invincible, and you one-hit everything, and it's pretty great. See, I don't see how it's more fun to watch Isaac than it is to play it. That doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand. Oh my god, that was the dumbest. I was looking at the chat and I just walked into that, but at least I got a reroll. Oh, I feel silly. I don't care if I one-shot things anyway. Uh, Halo, all stats up, I will take because health and speed. Magneto, no thanks. But we got that double item room business going, and I'm just clearing off the cathedral for fun. <laughs> I don't suffer playing this game. Ah, uh, oh, well, whatever. Hey, Peeper, doing the, doing the business. Unfortunately, it wasn't speedball in there. That's like, that would have made my day if I just got speedball there. At least then the whole business with uh, not getting Spelunker Boy when I should have wouldn't have mattered as much. Oh, well, at least we'll get a reroll every time I <laughs> take damage from these stupid flies. Not flies. Yeah, they're leeches. Uh, good luck with your refresh. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess I, I do have great commentary. Thanks. So, uh, Mr. Mega should be in this pool more than it's in the other one. Lucky foot. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? And now I have more rerolls to get. Goodness, I have so many rerolls to get. Reroll the ladder, maybe we'll get Mr. Mega. So much backtracking. I've been doing so thorough of a, of a run here. Uh, do I want to play you? No. We'll see about the curse room, okay? We'll see. I don't want to take full hearts of damage for that. Alright, uh, just don't have poison touch or anything, do I? Nah, that'd be nice. I Yeah, now I can get speed up pills, but not that I need them particularly. Because I'm fast enough at this point. I'm really hoping right now that this is the secret room. That's why I did this inefficiently. It wasn't. Tears up doesn't really help. Fistula is hard with my setup, man. 
don't don't patronize me. All right, this is probably one of the last rerolls. I mean, of course I'll get one after Isaac, but hopefully I'll just take whatever this is, and then we can finish off the run. Yeah, there it is. There it is. All right, we're done. We're done. It's game over. We have victory. Yeah, you also shouldn't Google that one, uh, so don't do it. <laughs> Just don't look these things up. Oh, man. We're out of soul hearts. This is no good. Look at our mega troll bombs, essentially. Uh, we're still going to win. Well, if we don't, that would be surprising and saddening. Note again that the poison damage doesn't do anything. How many viewers are there anyway right now? Just out of curiosity. I expect that there are no more than 10, but I could be wrong. Oh man, Isaac going well, not taking damage. All right, 10, like exactly, I'm the best. Okay, so let's do this. 153,000, you're totally right. Uh, remote de Polyphemus, what do I need that for? I don't need that for anything. Okay guys, quit making up numbers. Uh, well, Polyphemus doesn't value. Uh, whatever, we're done here. Uh, thank you for saying I deserve more viewers. I appreciate it. Uh, that is, of course, my goal to get more viewers eventually. I uh, gotta place them poison bombs that don't home in well enough. They're mega poison bombs, of course. Goodness gracious, this was easy. Uh, okay, so now that run's done. What we're gonna do next is, uh, I guess play Isaac again. Try to get either of those two items or Spelunker Boy. But don't get this lucky all the time, and you don't get so unlucky as to lose your Spelunker Boy right away. For real, 35? I'm not doing challenge runs, okay? I'm just not. Sorry, tap the mic again. Uh... Which I totally do have 35? No, I have 35 channel views, not current viewers. What is the current view count? I'm still not. I'll do your challenge runs for videos, not for the stream. This is on. This is on the good file. Look at how good my stats are. They're not actually that good. But let's let's check the. No, no comments. Nobody's commenting. No one loves me, guys. Oh, well, that's silly. Why would anyone leave me? Oh, okay, got lots of comments. All right, well... Let's hit R. That's not R. Maggie, I'm fine with Maggie. Of course, we don't have the D6, but... And we're a little slower, but this happens. Okay, why you guys gotta cheat like that? Jerks. Well, whatever. Everyone leaves for the run. It was the urn. The urn. So, uh, you know, I don't blame him. It was a pretty exciting run. Good, good thorough play. I don't need speed, man. I'm clean. Wait, guys, tell me, which drug is speed, precisely? Because uh, I'm, I'm a little... I'm a little unsure. I'm not going to click on your link, but, you know, I'm, I'm happy to know that there is a site for to earn. Anyway, we have Magneto. That's kind of okay, I guess. No keys, though, so we can't go to that library. Library would be nice. Oh, now we can go to the library. Uh, hello. Hello, Reddit reader. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the good luck wishes. I'm going to go to the library. And uh, probably not keep either of these, honesty. But it's always, always nice. I found pills and ate them. That that helps. I'm not gonna. I'm not clicking stuff while I'm in the runs and doing the stream. You silly people. Okay, widow. Gonna be pretty easy, hopefully. Dodge that perpendicular. And don't do anything silly like I almost did. I don't respond well to dares. 
so you know that's not it's not gonna help you okay this is getting a little ridiculous with all these spiders no what a terrible shot I did touch the monster man well you don't need to use it you don't need to use any items to get them out of the item pool I may as well use this Hey guys, you know what I haven't seen all day? I haven't seen my little unicorn. The pause was not just dramatic, it was also me coming up with the item. <laughs> I, I have seen the light of outside, I had class today. A chat free of back. I mean, I, I'm asking you guys to kind of do some backseat play. Except Danum. Danum does what he wants. I know I haven't seen Speedball, but I haven't seen Speedball in like the last year. <laughs> Not a literal year, but wait, wait a second. What is going on? Are you kidding me? Stem cells gives me a shot speed up. Does every item in Wrath of the Lamb give me a shot speed up? Every single item. Oh my god. Oh, whatever. Why is everything a shot speed up? This is ridiculous. I don't have any keys. I can't go to that thing. You know what? Shut up about speedball. I don't I don't need I don't need this from you. Thirty sacred hearts? Uh no, not happening. Uh, just give me speed ball. Give me anything that I need this run. I don't want this eternal heart. Stay away from me for now. Hey, 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 you all need to remember that and tell me to get the eternal heart. Remember it. Thank you for telling me what speed is. Anyway, yes, remind me of the eternal heart. That was the best day of experimenting. Guys, just to prove you, uh, prove you that I'm I'm great and you're not, you're gonna forget the eternal heart, and uh, I'm gonna remember it. But you guys are great, so don't let me don't let me get you down. There are no eternal hearts this floor. Thanks. I appreciate your uh, everlasting helpfulness. Uh, what eternal heart? You're lying. That was last floor. Last run, actually. Not even last floor. Last run. Nope, nope. You're too fast for me, and I got myself in a bad position. Let's use this. Get out of my face. Oh my god. Normally this is an easy boss fight, but then you're Maggie. Alright, box, what you got for me? Not an eternal heart. Uh, the sun, that's a great card. Uh, I'm pretty sure that items are not tied to the computer clock. I'm actually pretty sure about that. Oh, we have a key, thanks to box. What do we got? Forget me now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use that. Once I have the eternal heart, the box is not a speed down. It's not, guys. It's just not. Do not worry. Anyway, uh, eternal heart, come, come forth. I really like the challenge run where I was the walking box. That was like, that was the funniest run. That was the best. Um, I mean, I assume that Isaac just used whatever random functions there are in Flash. Speedball is speed and shot speed up. So anyway, Cellar 2 again. Maybe we'll be prepared in order to get um, Spelunker Boy this run. This is the run. The run. Probably not the run, but you know. We will attempt. Ah, and fortunately we have a key, so we can actually go to uh, to the item room without without worry. Um, let's see. Speedball, yeah, it, it's. I don't know why it's rare. I used to see it at least semi frequently, and yet in like a hundred hours I haven't seen it. Well, guess we are getting best friend, which I'm not even going to use literally. If I find Sacred Heart, I'm totally happy with that, but it doesn't appear in item rooms, just so you know. If I get Speedball, my life will be complete. You don't understand. That's all I want from my life. Remember, we have the sun. That's 
that's a map. Um, that's a full map of the floor minus the top secret room. It's also uh, full health and significant damage to every enemy in the room. Why don't I keep taking damage here? Because that sounds like fun. Uh, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh god, that was a... Okay, see, the thing about um, Best Friend is that the wiki is wrong. The box is, a, is not a speed down. Um, the best friend attracts enemies and uh, it explodes, but in certain situations it kills you. Like literally just kills you for no good reason. And yes, I didn't use best friend because I'm that, that against it. Oh, well, don't have a key. I guess we'll go into the arcade, do this right. Unfortunately, we only have the skull game to go on. Yeah, if you get, uh, if best friend gets hit with um, the blood beams from like the fallen or visses, or if it gets stomped on by mom's foot, possibly also by triacnid or um, Satan, you just die. Regardless of soul hearts, regardless of anything, you just die. So uh, we're gonna be taking Book of Revelations, unfortunately, ish. I really don't like it that much, but still, Soul Hearts will be fighting uh, Famine this floor. And unfortunately, well, I guess I'll use Best Friend here as the bomb since I have no other bombs and uh, the TNT will not reach far enough. So uh, that'll be the use for it. It's really, it's kind of annoying. I don't even like the nail that much in all honesty. It's just the whole six room business, I don't like it that much. And the effects are just so transient. So here we go. One soul heart, technically worth it. Take back my book of revelations. I was kind of hoping more for the candle. That would have been quite good for not taking damage on the next two floors. As predicted, as prophesized, we are fighting Famine. Famine will give us a cube of meat, of course. And that will uh, hopefully prevent what happened in that other run, last run I suppose it was, uh, from happening again. Anyway, I will probably drop the Book of Revelations at like the soonest opportunity. That's, you know, still good. Uh, yes, it is good with 9 volt battery habit. But so are most things when you think about it. <laughs> uh, play the next run as Eve. To you, I say, unlikely. But then again, it is entirely possible. I'm going to take a bathroom break after I kill this boss. I'm just going to go pee right quick. The candle is really overpowered. Anyway, I will be right back. I'm going to mute my mic. Hello everyone, welcome back to me, and uh, there we go, Digimon was an awesome show, don't be, don't be joking here. 
Okay, let's see. Eve is your favorite character? I don't know why. Uh, Samson is terrible. 12 viewers? Wow, that's pretty cool. Curse of Darkness, that's unfortunate. Uh, yes, welcome back, Biznap, indeed. Yeah, okay. Are there any items that give the health down besides a pill? Um, I'm going with no. The only way lose health, well, Guppy's paw, kind of. No! <laughs> That's such a troll move. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, yes, deals with the devil. Oh, 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 um, you know what does? No, Odd Mushroom gives you health up, but what does give you health down is uh, nine lives. Gives you, like, nine health downs. Or 11 or something. I think 11 makes more sense. Well, actually, it sets your hearts to one, but in many cases, it does just decrease your health. Deals with the devil take your health, but they don't give you health downs besides dead cat. Well, yeah, it's empty, but it's not a health down. Uh, I don't know if it counts as damage. Don't, don't, don't be sure about that. Anyway, we're going to get our second cube of meat here. So we'll do it. We have Guardian Angel as well, making stuff rotate faster. I kind of don't even want to finish this run. What do you guys think? Should I just switch characters? I said Guppy's Paw, if you were listening, which you obviously weren't. Yeah, you know, I mean, I don't like having to rely on a pill, but then again, there is the whole deal with luck up, which is entirely worth it because teeth are the best. Honestly, if I could just do teeth runs every time. Okay, I will reset. Oh wait, I don't want to play Maggie, not not you. Uh, what is 2.5 damage? Wait, what what is What are we talking about 2.5 damage? Cuz Eve just the damage. Oh, teeth multiplies your damage by 3.2, not just 2.5. 3.2, man. I will do another cane run. Or is it 3.0? I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it's 3.2. And then something else that increases your damage is, um, like, time. I think it's Sacred Heart that's, um, 2.3 times your damage plus one. Just for fun. Why not, you know? Plus one. Wow, I didn't have to fight a single room on this floor. That's actually ridiculous. Item room moment of truth right now. Okay. Wow, again? I am never this lucky. I never see this item. Magic mushroom, all stats up. Might in fact multiply our damage by 1.5. I'm not uh, entirely sure of it, but... Uh, you know, I, I like technology too when I have lots of damage, but I don't like it in that... Um, Multiplies my damage by 65%. What is left to Platinum God is that I need to collect two items, but I technically only need to collect one of them. Uh, and I need to get Spelunker Boy for not taking damage in the caves. So that's the goal of this stream, to do at least one of those two things. Magic Mushroom does not suck. I don't know what you're talking about. Magic Mushroom is like the bomb. Another health up? Oh, okay, said no one ever. Thank you. I was, I was confused and scared. I'm missing Speedball and Guppy's Hairball. Why do I technically only need to get one? Because there's a glitch where um, certain one of two items can count for uh, another item so that you just don't need to collect it. Because like originally when Lump of Coal was added, it was added as like sing a singular item and uh, it wasn't coded well or something. And it could simply replace one of the vanilla items. And I think that another item also has that effect. But I don't know what it is. It might be Rainbow Baby or something like that. Or the White Pony, maybe, because uh, Conquest was added later. Uh, see, no, the thing is, my chat connection is plenty fast, but you guys are buffered with um, however far behind the uh, upload is, and then your download concurrently. So I'm not behind. It's the internet making the stream. Another sun card. 
Wow. Anyway, I'm not going to use the razor, like, at all, because it's silly. I don't like damaging myself. So, uh, Duke of Flies, at least, will be super duper easy. I mean, the internet is behind. There's, like, 6,000 kilobits buffered or something. I do have to look away from the game to read and respond. Is, uh, the razor... You can use the razor to avoid damage or use it for free when you take damage. Yes. Okay. Coin purse. This is going to be good for us. Hope. Well, I can't get speed down, unfortunately. Health up is good. Tears up is good. Tears up is really good. Range up is also really good. I did do that at Blue Baby. Speed up. This is the worst day. Um, so I'm going to go see if I can't get a speed down somewhere along the way in here. Because this is going to, like, actually harm me <laughs> in the, on the later floors. Yeah, I mean, it was a good it was a good coin purse, but it's also a terrible coin purse. Because I'm way, way fast. And I mean, I know I'm MLG at maneuvering and all that, but... Too much. I will play this twice, because I am... Gambly. Oh, well, no, I will keep playing then. Stop that. Stop that. I don't want to profit. I want to get rid of my money. Oh, I was expecting Pretty Fly there. Pretty Fly would be great. Just one reason I'm playing this. I... I, I don't practice with speed, but I actually literally don't need it. It's practically useless after a point. I'm not going to use it yet, but I am going to take it, because I definitely would prefer it to the Razor. So we're now one-third Guppy, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, I do need to be very... Ugh, almost took damage immediately. Very liberal with um, my use of the sun. Speed... Yeah, if it's just backtracking, yeah, I'd love to have lots of speed. But 99% of the time, I would rather be like half as fast as I am right now. Wow, I didn't realize I hadn't been streaming for very long. No! No! God, I hate keepers. Ugh. This room is bad, and speed is bad, and that's one thing about Kane. He starts faster, and that's no fun. Why didn't I use the sun? Why didn't I use the sun? Ah, <sighs> just get out of my life, Kane. I'm not. I'm not doing anything to do with speed. I'm sorry. I just can't stand speed. I mean, there are other stimulants besides amphetamines, but okay. I, I, yes, you guys, you've told me already that speed is meth or amphetamines. I get it. Uh, I'm not doing 30 Sacred Hearts, okay? All right, out of here we go. Was that worth it? Probably not. But then again, there was the chance of, like... Sacred Heart or something. Ridiculous like that. Not not in the chest. In the chest there could not have been Sacred Heart. Oh my god, get ah, oh, well, now we're almost dead. 180 Sacred Hearts, that sounds like the worst idea. Ah, uh, give me some health, man. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? After 50 Sacred Hearts, I mean, yeah, that, that's about right. But, like, th this is just stupid. I don't want to do that many Sacred Hearts under any circumstances. <sighs> Mr. Boom, I'm not even going to try. Teeth with 9 luck is the bomb. Sacred Heart uh, multiplies your damage by 2.3 and then adds 1. And it also gives you homing tears and um, shot speed down. So, why did I take damage there? Because I'm crazy. I didn't die. I reset. Uh, this would have been nice to have with the... Uh, well, I mean, not because of the speed. Freaking everything gives me speed. 
Um, if you stack shots, be down, it does fire backward. Yeah, I'm restarting because it's kind of a waste to, uh, not. I'll keep Necronomicon. Necronomicon, eh, not even underrated, it's just not good. But then again, it could save me in, uh, maybe that keeper room that has caused me damage twice. Whore of Babylon is, uh, gonna add or multiply 1.2 times 1. Point, wait, 1.5 times 1.2 squared damage. Uh, let's see. And, uh, something else about... Yeah, all I need is dead bird. And I mean, I don't think Luckfoot default... No, Luckfoot does. Luckyfoot does, uh, affect drop rates. You know what? Screw it. Uh, Bean is kind of underrated, but it, uh, infinite power Bean is what people might think of at this point, considering, like, every YouTuber has done that challenge run, and it's awesome. <laughs> but, eh, you know. Well, yeah, luck, Lucky Foot doesn't add a number to your luck, it just changes the multiplier for, um, getting drops. It just changes the multiplier for that. I'm paying too much attention to chat, and I'm taking lots and lots of damage. Oh, right. Fine. Fine. Health up. Always welcome. Bean uh, puts out a poison cloud. That's all it does. Uh, one... Once per room. That is also part of its effect. That it recharges every room. And I don't have any keys, that's unfortunate. My back hurts. Because I'm slouched a little for my microphone. The black bean is not better than poison touch. Not at all, because poison touch does a fair amount of contact damage as well as doing the poison, whereas uh, black bean just does the uh, poison cloud. So the poison damage without the contact. Because, like, what kills most enemies when you're using Poison Touch isn't the poison damage, it's the contact damage. And yes, I know, I could have used a Mulligoon to blow that up. Alright, guys, come on, come on. Stop running away from me. You know it's meant to be. I'm just prolonging the inevitable. Well, it looks like I would have gotten that Tinted Rock. Oh, well. I'm not going to open that unless I get, like, a key drop here, but then I'd use it on the library before using it here. Kobe. Yeah, okay. Aha, bomb. For one soul heart. No, no, you do what I tell you. There we go. Anarchist cookbook. Well, at least if we find libraries, there's doable, but I'm not going to keep it. This is a bad run. Might restart again. Feels like I've been streaming a little longer than I have today. I guess it's because I've been playing a lot of Isaac. Ah, I've done it all before. Alright, good. Kill yourself. Just do that for me. Take the cookbook to get in a secret room. Well, that's what you say, but no thanks. <laughs> Not even going to take that chance. Although I could get Epic Fetus, fine, I'll do it. You've convinced me. Cancer, that's pretty good. Not if I get Epic Fetus, but you know. Full health, not very helpful. It is a flawless plan, you're right. Ah, ah, yeah, this is a better plan. Only nine cents. What I am missing for Platinum God is... Spelunker Boy and two items. And yeah, um, I guess I'll go shopping now. And I'll take the treasure map. And this pill, because I'm Kane. And this bomb, because I can. What is this? Telepills. One room to the right. Of course. Uh, anyway, this run's probably also going to get restarted. Cancer, of course, does double my rate of fire, but uh, I don't expect it to be good enough because my damage is not spectacular and 
Nothing else is particularly spectacular. Ah. Alright, so now we know the location of everything that isn't... Oh, well, screw it. That didn't kill you! This run has not really improved significantly. Why not check curse rooms? That's a good question. Actually, I don't know why I didn't. Well, I mean, you can always say that you hope someone gets cancer, but... Yeah, okay, there you go. Then you'd be a D-bag. There you go. That, that works. Uh, this room is potentially damaging, unfortunately. Out of my face. Uh, we are just trying to speedrun and stuff. Soul hearts are always welcome. This is not not my favorite place to be. Be liquors. Just don't don't even touch the poop. Don't touch the. Get away from me, fly. I don't have any keys. All right, you just just die, please. Thank you. Now you all die. I would have been really upset if um that had been one of the times where the uh, bee lickers decided that they could go over gaps and rocks and stuff. No, no. All right, screw it. <laughs> Curse of Labyrinth, ah, well, that makes my job of going through the basement much easier in some ways, but now I need keys for both item rooms. Flies are stupid. Like, it's literally just Eternal Flies, because they have so much health, which is ridiculous. I don't know why they have so much health, but they do. Don't want to use my bomb just now. <laughs> I would like to make at least one accomplishment this run. Yes, it's obviously because they are eternal. It's pretty much the only explanation. It's also why I need more damage. Soul hearts, this is why you destroy poop. Why you are wrong for not doing so. Literally incorrect. I may as well use a bomb now. Uh, you know, if they had infinite health, I might just quit. And, of course, I'm not getting the right way to either of the item rooms. I do need another key, though. Alright, must destroy all of the poop. All of the poop. See? A nickel. This is... Well, you're wrong for destroying it when you have Epic Fetus, but you're also not wrong because it doesn't really matter at that point, because you can easily do it. Um, but you're wrong for not doing it normally, so there's that. One bomb for one bomb, the uh, fairest of trades, in fact. Technology is a very good, well, technology with spectral tears or technology too. Yes, destroying it with explosives and epic fetus and such does not get you drops ever. Oh, terrible damage. That is the joke.jpg. Uh, does that actually link to something? Because I, I doubt it, but you know. Odd mushroom, this is good. Speed down, that's one of the things I want. It's also health up and damage up. Ah, oh, well, see you. Have fun in the real world or wherever it is you go when you're not here. The fake world. Eh, but, you know, goodbye. Thank you for joining me. Do make sure to come again next time, and uh, any times after that. It's going to be an empty place without you. Uh, does that was the joke actually link to something there, considering it's a site? It might, I believe it. Wrath is kind of annoying. That one is a real link. Okay then. Good to know. I should set my game. Oh yeah, I, no one's told me that. But I also don't know how, because I'm lazy. I mean, I know how, but I'm lazy. So, you know, I, I could do that, or I could just not, because... Eh. <laughs> Looking for the item room, basically, now. The other item room, of course. Oh, oh yes, Thrick. I know you from the, uh, the subreddit. Hello. You should set... Uh, uh, yeah, I guess I trust you as a mod. 
can you actually set those things as a mod? Anyway, let's let's see. What can I do with you? Uh, there you go. Have fun with that. Don't go overboard. I can take any damage I want from Larry Jr. Oh, so... So you can't do it because I haven't enabled it. And you just didn't tell me that. Now I have to go to my dashboard. I'll do it after Larry Jr., okay? Okay? Larry Jr. must die, though. That is that is the priority. Well, Danum figured out. Oh yeah, you should just be able to do like slash topic. You're changing colors. Are you just refreshing? Cause that's that's interesting. I well, I clicked on your name and it said op, and I made you an op and. It didn't do anything. It says you're a moderator now. What will I do after I get Platinum God again? Well, I'll quit playing this file, and I'll make it so that um, any normal runs are only on the other file. So this file will become a relic and uh, all that cool stuff. Ah, that's how you change your color. Uh, yes, I know I could go fight the other boss, but I feel like getting another uh, Kajigger. Ah, you do have the snazzy look. The other item room basically is my goal right now. Look at you and your fancy thing. Well, one bomb for three. That sounds like a terrible trade that I won't make. So did you change my title and stuff? Because uh, that's why I hired you. Let's see what's in here. Number one, let's do it. How do devil rooms work on XL floors? They work normally. You can get them after the second of the uh, two bosses. Their spawn percent, it's just like normal. And, uh, so I've, I've made an interesting choice in, uh... Oh my god, an eternal heart, now I have to backtrack all this way! Well, we'll be back for that eternal heart. And it'll be a great time. Yeah, he's so happy. Well, for having one eye. The one eye is happy. So we'll come back after killing a boss and get that eternal heart that you guys uh, won't let me forget about. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you enjoyed what you could catch of the stream. I'll be going for at least another hour, probably. Well, not at least, but I'll be going for somewhere around another hour. But I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the comments. And have fun in the real world. Oh, that was quick. Coin purse again, gonna be great for Kane. Bombs are key, that didn't that was actually pretty awesome. Tears up does not affect me anymore. Health up. Speed up? No! Oh well. Worst day though. So Danum, have you gotten have you gotten my stuff figured out? I'm gonna go to the dashboard, see what's going on. No, that doesn't help me. Um, where do I go to me? TV slash is now. Hello. No, you haven't. You haven't messed with my title yet. What you doing, Danim? Where'd you go? Okay, so we're gonna get this eternal heart. And I'm gonna close my stream because why would I watch my own stream? That would be silly and waste my bandwidth and stuff. Not that I I have unlimited bandwidth. I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah. So we're gonna now hopefully go take no damage on the next two floors, and it'll be a great time for everyone. In fact, hopefully, what happens is we get Caves XL and an Emperor card or something, and I can beat both bosses without taking damage. That would be the best. Thing that happened. I can't tell if I broke the chat or if no one is talking. Gurgles, I hate you! I feel like no one might be talking, but then again, I could have broken the chat. 
Left hand. No, I'm gonna not take the left hand. That sounds like a better plan. Okay, I have to enable you to change that. Well, that's something that I will do after I'm done streaming, I guess. Come on, bee lickers, just get out of my get out of my face. Uh, number one might be the game changer. I don't need umbilical cord either. I am too fast though. That is that is a certainty. A real for sure certainty. Uh, this is an unfortunate room that I don't like. Because there's almost nothing I can do about damage in many situations. Nope, you stay away from me. False alarm. Okay, welcome back. Jeez, you freaking walking guts. Go away. We're good now. I just want to find the item room on my way. You do need to go in ten minutes. Okay, well... Enjoy this 10 minutes like it's your last. Like they're your last, rather. Let's fight this boss. The Hollow, I am rather likely to take damage, unfortunately. Fortunately, it's not a challenge, uh, champion, rather. So uh, they're not going to spawn anything, which is quite good. Okay, Danum, I will get there. Take this health up and leave because I'm still on a no damage business here. This is caves rather than the uh, alternative, so we have a chance. Especially if every room is no enemies. Okay, this room. It's wide open, so it's totally doable. Everything is intense. No damage hype, you're right. This is for real right now. Speed up, I'm gonna not take that, you know? Seems like a terrible, terrible thing to happen. No! I thought I could make it. Man, I'm never gonna win. I knew that would happen. That's why I did it. Man, I am never gonna freaking win this game. I mean, what are you talking about? I don't need that speed up. I ain't need no speed up. You guys can talk all you want, but I should have made that. Speed up shouldn't have made a difference. One of these runs will be the urn. Het urn, if you will. Anyway, this is going to be an identical run. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, exactly. Two keys, so now I can go to the rooms of treasure and pleasure and... I don't know if anything else rhymes with those in that way. My stomach is like empty. I am starving, but this, the show must go on. I'd like to at least accomplish one thing. Find an item, even. But it does seem like you guys are still enjoying, nonetheless. So that's good. You don't hate me for sucking at getting Spelunker Boy. It's funny that I got Dark Boy and Mama's Boy before Spelunker Boy. Okay. Ah, don't leave me, everyone. You can't all leave me. Don't look this up, guys. Don't do it. <laughs> Danum already did. You made a huge mistake doing that. I've actually never looked it up. Never will. Uh, Mama's Boy was just for me getting Epic Fetus and then accidentally not taking any hits. Totally accidentally. I literally never will. Don't don't even worry about it. Poison touch. That's not going to be helpful for not taking uh, damage. There's actually no temptation for me if we're being honest. I am not even a little bit tempted to look that up. And I mean, yes, Dark Boy is harder, but I got Dark Boy and I didn't get Spelunker Boy. What I need is a deal with the devil and then Brimstone. Brimstone might be all I need. I'm trapped. Oh my god, I am so hungry. No! Ah, fudge. I didn't want that speed up. I'm too fast again. This is a trope right now. Ugh. Whatever. 
We'll see what happens. I don't think that I have uh, the uh, capabilities, but if I get a deal with the devil and brimstone, maybe, maybe it'll work out. Or if I get a damage up. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Alright, off to a good start. Not taking any damage yet. Believe it or not, guys. Shut up, go away. Speed run, I'll, I'll need your, your sassy silliness. <sighs> no, leave me. I need you. You're an essential part to the experience. Okay, this room is potentially damaging. Bye bye Have fun. 10 out of 10, uh, no, actually 1 out of 10 would not recommend this joke to others. Guys, is it speed up again? I'm not taking it yet. Alright, peep, this is likely damaging, honestly, so, uh, looks like another restart. Unless we're, uh, really awesome, which is also entirely possible. Could be awesome. But, rocks help me out. Rocks are the bomb. Rocks. Okay, okay, okay. I almost started into Lamborghini Mercy. Or Mercy, as I suppose the song's title actually is, but that song is god awful. No! Oh, wait, I have to see the pill. Telepills. God, I'm never gonna do this. Curse room! Wasn't worth it. Ugh, oh, man. Oh, now I'm almost dead. That was silly. Item room, mom's knife. Not mom's knife. Try Isaac, perhaps. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. We're gonna reroll to mom's knife, and we're not fast. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Uh, no, Samson is the worst idea. Literally the worst idea. Curse room ahoy. D6 is very good. Let's see what these pills are. I expected bad trip there. Bombs are key. I'm okay with that. Now let's just reroll mom's knife and then not take damage in the caves. These things are kind of unlikely. That That's an interesting combination of A's with accents you've got there. You know, I wish we just started on the caves. And the caves were the basement. Because I frequently don't take damage on the basement. <laughs> nah, no one needs pants. Don't don't lie to yourself. The mulligan, that's really good. Maybe it'll help me. Most likely it won't. But we'll see. By the way, Danum, don't leave me. You haven't been here in, like my whole life and you can't just leave again you can't just come back and then leave anyway the mulligan wants one sixth chance to spawn a kamikaze fly kamikaze flies again do double our damage uh, this is the ultimate episode of the let's play by the way it's gonna be like three hours of let's play and yes this is going up as the let's play episode don't like this is Sunday's episode don't even don't even tell yourself otherwise Okay, health up and internal heart. These don't help me not take damage. But we'll see what happens on the next floor. Hopefully mom's knife. Always hopefully mom's knife. Come on, come hither. Good, good. Uh, well, what you should do is you should quit doing anything else in your life and only watch my Let's Plays from, from here until you catch up. That's That's what you should do if we're being realistic. Strength, okay, that's fine. Guardian, oh, why did I do that? Well, I mean, I guess it does help me not take damage. Well, you need to do that for another couple weeks or something. Uh, well, I wouldn't go so far as to say all hail me, but you're right, all hail me. 
basically. Oh. Do I know this pill? Full health. Well, you know what? what I'm gonna do is take strength here. Uh, use strength because it'll give me magic mushroom for a room. And recover my health, essentially. Yeah, I'll just take a bunch of damage on this floor so I can use the full health and be a cool kid. No, what I should do is I should take a bunch of... I should take a bunch of damage and get to uh, half a heart so I literally can't take damage or I die. Because then, I mean, I take damage and it's all good. And I just, uh, I win the game. Get Spelunker Boy, and then I have all of the secrets except Platinum God, which just takes another item, probably. Well, 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 uh, that was my vocalizing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. No, I'm kidding. Whenever, but you know, some things when I say them, they just lead into other things because that's just what I say every time. All right, item room, Mom's knife. Mom's knife. That's not Mom's knife. It is another of her items, but it is not her knife. That's the shears. Uh, we're gonna go balls out here. We're gonna take the shears just in case we can do this. Uh, no, that doesn't seem likely to be the secret room. So uh, this is gonna be the way I win. I already went to this the, the, the curse room. So we're, we're going to do this, and we're going to win, and we're not going to die, we're not going to take damage, we're going to get Splunker Boy. Oh, the voice kind of got messed up there. Curse of Labyrinth, oh man. Sacrificial Dagger, that that helps me out. A little bit of extra protection. Mulligan's pretty huge. This could be Te'urn. Pestilence as the first boss would be somewhat excellent, I guess, but I don't know... I'm gonna take damage, this room. Just watch, just wait. It's these gosh darn flies. I need more damage is basically my one concern here. Oh man, that was close. Oh God, now we gotta, oh, that was close. Got a repeat performance coming right up. You've got the encore guys. The crowd was just like so into it. It was mad hype. And they were like, do it again. Okay. I wish I could just say BRB food times. I'm screwed. Oh, the sacrificial dagger. Best pickup. Best pickup I could have hoped for. Alright, we're still in this. Because we're really lucky. I mean, really skillful with the sacrificial dagger. N n oh, man. These familiars are the reason I am not rage quitting. Do I have any... Do you mean hobbies like H-O-B-B-I-E-S? Like things I like to do for fun? Because I have those. Uh, no, YouTube is my whole life. I think this is worth the cheers. Because we all saw how this went that other time. No, YouTube is my whole life. YouTube is also my job, sort of. Because I'm not making like that much money that it's a real job. Oh, good. Every time. It's like, oh, you had a room that uh, you barely made it through? Why don't you just do it again? This silly, silly game. But now we do have a couple of them in the new state. <sighs> all right. Mulligan doing huge, huge work. Huge, huge work is what I meant to say there. Keeping me from being rage quit. Uh, anyway, hobbies, I don't know. I, I'm not that good at guitar, but I, I do play it. Um, I mean, I play video games. It's kind of not just my job, but also what I do for fun. Okay, let's not... This room does suck, though. Let's be real. So salty. Let's get this working again. You know, I probably could include the chat in the video. It wouldn't even be hard. 
Yeah, salt is everywhere. Do you know all of the Twitch emoticons? Because, like, honestly, you know all of them. You must. Restarting does not count as a death. Which is why restarting is kind of OP. Uh, that is not Mom's Knife. It's also not Mom's Knife. Let's get another reroll for it, because I don't need health where we're going. Dana, you totally weren't here last time, but I played Super Meat Boy. I don't know if you watched the, the YouTube upload of it, but uh, that did happen. Okay. Duke of Flies, the Fluke of Dies. I guess we'll be taking that heart because we, uh, we can't. Uh, are you saying the Spike Room is in the Curse Room, or are you saying the Sacrifice Room? Because I'm literally never going to use the Sacrifice Room. Was there even a Curse Room? I didn't notice. Ah, well, now you know. Just show up more often and actually answer on Skype. Okay, well, I, I will go to the sacrifice... No, no, I won't go to the sacrifice room. I'd only go to the curse room. My stomach is eating itself, I promise. Right now, I promise. So I'm probably going to end the stream after the next promising failure. Like the next run that is promising and fails. But, um, we'll see. Uh, I mean, the sacrifice room is pretty much worthless. I would do it if it were made that the chests always gave... Um, items like in the chest, but they don't. Sacrifice room takes a full heart. Anyway. Not worth it to go to the sacrifice room. It's just not. I don't think it would be that uh, overpowered. You do have to damage yourself in order to access that item. And, I mean, they don't spawn, like, so incredibly frequently. If you only have half heart, it always pays out. Well, I mean, that makes sense. I just don't care. Because <laughs> why would I want to get down to a half heart for a chest that is likely going to have nothing good in it? The answer is I wouldn't. And I have a lot of keys. Technically worth it. The best kind of worth it. Guess we'll fight this boss. Really don't care about the damage I'm taking currently. All that matters is next two floors. Yes, I know the idea was that I pick up the heart after. I know it is max health. I make very good use of this in the chest. Frequently. Though now I won't be able to get it in the chest. If I actually end up continuing this run that far. Which is rather unlikely. But see, literally, I, I, I know it's better play, but I literally don't care because the sacrifice room is that bad. And I mean, I have to use a key on it, and it's not even going to be an item. It's not guaranteed to be an item. It's just not, not ever worth it. And you can't get a sacrifice room in the chest unless you do a glitch, so... Uh, Well, this could be it. This could be it. Sacred Heart. Gotta reroll. Darn it. It's gonna be gone, just so you know, yeah. I needed Sacred Heart there. The game did not oblige. But I must still attempt to accomplish. Mom's knife's going to be in, in this item room, and it's all going to be okay. And then I'll win. Straight up going to win. Magic Mushroom, this is actually ridiculous. Actually ridiculous. To the curse room we go, and then we see uh, what these pills are. I wish they were a damage up pill. That'd be great. Tears up's good. Telepills, okay. All right, let's get out of here and uh, win this run. Caves, that's that's a good sign. Yeah, seriously, so many magic mushrooms. I don't like this room. Uh, I don't know why I didn't go to the secret room, but uh, whatever. Don't care, too late. 
Nope, you stay away from me. Uh, there we go. This is the wrong way. I don't want to be here. Maws are frequently damaging. But. Butts, but, butts, butts, butts. I mean, yes, it's easy to say with confirmation bias that, oh yeah, it's clearly tied to your system clock because you're getting the same item over and over, but I mean, that's not. It's not always a thing. Confirmation bias, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so let's see what's in here. A range up. Let's reroll it to Mom's Knife. Uh, yeah, I will take Ghost Baby. It's never Mom's Knife when I need it to be Mom's Knife. Alright, Ma. Ha, you see? See what I did there? No, I didn't actually. But this room's gonna be doable. This could be to earn pestilence. This is possible still. But no promises. Literally no promises. I will not promise anything. I also don't want to get trapped in that corner. I'm gonna get out of here. It's getting intense, guys. Uh, you're gonna die, and then you're gonna die, and I'm not gonna get hit by you. And you're gonna get out of there, Pestilence, because honestly, uh, let's... Well, I was about to shoot a bomb over to blow those up, but then he did it himself. So Cube of Meat could prevent us from taking some further damage. I can't reroll it or anything. All right, let's do this. Caves 2. Caves 2. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Ah! Oh! All right, one. one, one more. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. All the restarts. Ah, oh, man. Mom's knife, right now. Right now. That's a range up. That's not quite mom's knife. Let's see what we got in here. Brimstone. <laughs> No, no, you have to stay for this run, because this is the last run. You have to stay for that one. Well, this is maybe the last run. Probably the last run. Don't leave yet. Don't do it. Don't do it. You don't actually want to do it. You just think you want to get food. But food is for the weak and the not streaming. We're going to win this time. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna speed run, no damage, mom's knife. The um, no items, final destination only, all that good stuff. Max speed, you're right, that will help for sure. I'll probably just be able to run through the doors without opening them. Even through the trap door that isn't even there. That'll help. I haven't gotten a single deal with the devil in a long, long time, if you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> Must be my poor, reckless play. Looks like we're not going to get a reroll. That, that, that is unfortunate. Oh, man. Okay. This poop is going to have mom's knife in it, if you were wondering. Yeah, I know, I'm playing recklessly until caves. Pestilence, are you joking me? Are you joking me? I don't want to take the time to kill you. I kind of want to restart just to get Mom's knife. Because <laughs> I know, I can feel it. It'll be the next one. Pestilence isn't as easy as you give him credit for, but I... I, I don't know. It's, it's nerve-wracking, man. I know, I do want the meat cube. I just don't want the time. Alright, you're gonna go into a head, like now. Now, there we go. Ah, uh, poop. Good thing there's plenty of health laying around, because I definitely lost all of mine. Uh, oh, famine. Yeah, I mean, famine is easy but time consuming unless you've gotten the lucky damage up somewhere. I'll come back for that health. I don't even remember what was in the item room. 
but we'll get it. I think we'll get it. Unless it was terrible. Was it a range up? No, Charm of the Vampire. That's going to help me a lot on my no damage quest. Well, let's see if Epic Fetus is in the secret room. Because that could be a thing. That, okay. That works too. Mom's knife. Right now. Right, right now. I just have the worst luck with first floor secret rooms. That's basically it. Goodbye, have fun in the real world. Thank you for joining me. Oh, well, that was silly of me. Uh, Spoonbender. That is an interesting proposition. One which I think is worth taking. I'm getting tired because I'm so hungry. That's why I'm making bad decisions, guys. Don't worry, I don't need social time. You guys are my social time. Alright, Larry Jr. And then this is probably the last run. Because either I'm going to get it or I'm going to not get it and then I'm just going to stop probably. Because we're at about two and a half hours, which is a good length for a stream for, you know, someone who does lots of recording as well and stuff. And then there's Northern Lion does three hours. But, you know, for now, satisfied. I think I'm getting to the point where I'm sloppy enough that um, keeping, keeping on with the trying isn't going to help me get it as much as doing this again another day will. And worry not, I'll probably do this as another stream sometime, but I'll also stream other games, and uh, that'll be good times as well. 24 hours sounds like the worst thing. Stop cheating, Larry Jr. Just stop cheating. I, I follow the rules, why can't you? Squeezy is exactly what I wanted for them tears up. Now, if only I had damage, I'm going to look for a curse room. What could I find in a curse room? Well... Sacred Heart for one. Sacred Heart is the only goal. But then, then I should have re-rolled um, homing stuff. Homing butts, you know? I don't have any bombs to even check if that's a secret room. Payout. Well, then my homing tears are useless and I should have re-rolled for Mom's Knife. Well, no curse room for me. And no bombs. So I can't even look in Heezy... Oh man, I need food so bad. I'm getting kind of tired. Might die, might die. Might guy, haha. -ha. For those of you who got that, you're cool. All right, moment of truth. I'm gonna take damage in the first room. It's possible, it's actually kind of likely. Kind of really likely, though oh, God. Get out of my face. I don't like when you get that close to me. I'm just gonna... I can sit here all day. You will die eventually. I have to check just in case of speedball. This had better be the right way so I don't have to come back through there. Eep! Eep is, eep is the word. Alright, this room is totally McDoable. It's kind of like the name McDougal or some such thing, but it's, it's McDoable. Alright. Oh god. I didn't take damage. That was, that was, uh, that thing I have that's given me health. Charm of the Vampire. All right, we have not yet damage. I didn't take damage. Don't leave. Now I took damage. Wow, you just you just ruined my life, Danim. You ruined the whole run just by saying that. All right, well that is going to be a good place to end the stream. So thank you all for joining me. I will certainly do this again. I hate you, Danim. It's just all I want to say. Come back to Skype and maybe do a video with me so that, uh, you know, that. It was Danum's fault. 
Uh, okay, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will do this again, and I will obviously announce it, as I always do. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, at BiznapLP. And follow me here, because why not, on twitch.tv slash biznap if you're watching this. On the, uh, the, the, the YouTubes. So, uh, again, thank you guys for watching, and I will 